now we will discuss uh, one more very important problem which is based on the impact loading condition first let us understood the given problem okay the problem is the unknown weight an unknown weight falls through 20 mm falls to 20 mm onto a collar falls to 20 mm onto a collar rigidly attached to the lower end of the vertical bar okay rigidly attached to the lower end of the vertical bar lower end of the vertical bar 2 meter long 2 meter long and 500 square millimeter 500 square millimeter okay suction if the maximum instantaneous extension is in the sense the maximum elongation of the bar when the bar is subjected to certain load which is fall from certain height okay the maximum instantaneous extension is 2 mm maximum instantaneous extension is 2 mm okay what what is the corresponding stress and the value of unknown weight what is the corresponding corresponding stress and the value of unknown weight okay that we need to find out okay in this given problem that we need to find out in this given problem okay this is a given problem which is given okay first let us under, analyze the given problem okay here consider consider a bar consider bar okay an unknown weight falls through 20 mm onto the collar okay 20 mm onto the collar now you can see here okay this is the w weight w okay which which is fall onto the collar at a distance small h okay and total length of this bar which is small l okay small l that is equal to 2 meter or the vertical bar 2 meter long okay and 500 square meet millimeter okay 500 square millimeter suction okay so for this when when okay unknown weight falls through 20 mm onto the collar rigidly attached to the lower end of the vertical bar 2 meter long and 500 square meter for that there is a some sort of elongation in the sense the instantaneous extension will going to takes place what is that instantaneous along aka extension or elongation when okay certain weight which is falls onto this collar okay when it is falls onto this collar okay for that some sort of extension okay extension will going to takes place in the sense the elongation of this particular bar will going to takes place okay that elongation we need to indicate like this you can see here that is we will indicate that we will call it as e dash that we will call it as a e dash of 2 mm okay you can they have given in the problem okay that is 2 mm the instantaneous the maximum instantaneous extension is 2 mm okay in the sense the elongation okay for what okay some certain weight okay we don't know that weight that that's what we need to find out here okay weight we need to find out corresponding stress and the value of unknown weight we need to find out okay and they have given that modulus of okay the rigidity or angst modulus which is 200 gpa first let us note down the given data okay first let us note on the given data okay so what is the value of h 
here h is equal to the weight falls through 20 mm onto the collar 20 mm that this w which is falls 20 mm this is a collar collar okay that is equal to h is equal to 20 mm h is equal to 20 mm next small l that is length of this vertical bar small l is equal to small l is equal to 2 meter that is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter okay next we have e is equal to 200 gpa 200 into 10 to the power 3 newton power mm square i directly write like this and we don't know the maximum stress corresponding stresses sigma dash and also we don't know the weight okay that we need to find out here okay that we need to find out here okay we know this modulus okay modulus of modulus of elasticity e is equal to impact stress to impact stress to impact impact stress to impact impact strain okay for static load condition for example you can see here e is equal to sigma dash divided by epsilon dash okay this we can write it okay here okay change in length divided by virginal length okay strain is equal to change in length divided by virginal length this stress sigma dash divided by okay epsilon we can write epsilon like this also okay so small e dash small e dash divided by L change in length divided by virginal length that is equal to epsilon sigma dash divided by e dash into L okay we can write like this okay for static load condition for static load for static load or static stress e is equal to sigma by in the sense okay stress by strain okay the st static stress divided by static strain we can write like that okay so now what we need to do we need to determine the value for this okay with respect to this Hengst modulus okay so now we know the value now we know the value for e okay so here if you substitute that sigma dash we need to find out sigma dash is equal to sigma dash is equal to e into small e dash divided by l okay we know the capital e that is 200 into 10 to the power 3 into we know e dash that is okay the uh, instantaneous extension or elongation okay due to the weight which is fall from certain height called h okay that is e dash is equal to 2 mm divided by what is the l okay the length of this vertical bar which is 2 into 10 to the power 3 if you simplify this equation you will get sigma dash is equal to 200 200 newton per millimeter square okay sigma dash is equal to 200 if you simplify that 200 newton per mm square 200 newton per mm square okay so this is how we can simplify the value by using this modulus of elasticity next what we need to find out we need to find out the impact stresses 
okay we know that the equation which is sigma dash is equal to w by a into 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 h a e okay which is available in the design data handbook the equation number 3.11 a okay the impact stresses we know that we know that we know that impact stress impact stress impact stress that is sigma dash is equal to w by a w by a into 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 h e a divided by divided by w l okay this is the equation okay the equation which is available in the design data handbook the equation number 3.11 a okay from the design data handbook from the design data handbook if you substitute all the values into this equation we know the sigma dash which is 200 that is equal to we know the value we do not know the value called w that is the unknown weight w divided by area okay which is 500 square millimeter okay area of that suction which is 500 that is given in the problem into 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 into what is the value for h h is equal to 20 h is equal to 20 into what is the e 200 into 10 to the power 3 into 500 divided by divided by okay what is the value what is the w we need to find out w into what is the l which is 2 meter long that is 2 into 10 to the power 3 okay millimeter okay so here this 10 to the power 3 this 10 to the power 3 will get cancelled this 2 this 2 will get cancelled if you further if you simplify this equation you will get 10 to the power 5 divided by w that is equal to 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 into 10 to the power 6 divided by w okay this we will get if we further simplify this equation okay we will get 10 to the power 5 divided by w minus 1 that is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 into 10 to the power 6 divided by w now what we need to do we need to do squaring on both side okay squaring on both side So we will get 10 to the power 10 divided by w square minus 2 into 10 to the power 5 divided by w into 1 plus 1 that is equal to 1 plus 1 plus okay squaring on both sides this square will get cancelled okay 2 into 10 to the power 6 divided by w this one this one will get cancelled okay that is 10 to the power 10 divided by w square is equal to if you simplify this whole term we'll get 2.2 into 10 to the power 6 divided by w okay this w this w square will get cancelled okay finally if we simplify this term w is equal to finally if we simplify this term w is equal to we will get 4 5 4 5 4 5 point 4 5 newton 4 5 4 5 point 4 5 newtons we will get if you want to convert this into kgs what we need to do w is equal to 4 5 4 5 point 4 5 divided by 9.81 okay 
okay we'll get 463.463 kgs 463 kgs if we want get answer in terms of if kg okay this is a given problem this is the given problem with respect to this impact loading condition you can see here here what we need to find out we need to find out the unknown weight okay wo we need to find out and also we need to find out the the corresponding stresses and also uh, corresponding stresses and the value of unknown weight okay this is the wo okay wo we will get 463 kg or 4545.45 newton 4545 Four five newtons, or we'll get four sixty three kgs, and also that uh, the stresses is two hundred newton per mm square with respect to this modulus of elasticity. Okay, this is a given problem. 